Welcome back to video lesson 7, part 3. This is optional, again, unless you have missed class. So what are emulsifiers? Emulsifiers, maybe more importantly, are not lipids. But we have to talk about them in the lipid section because they're critical to our body actually being able to digest the lipids. If you recall, fats and oils do not dissolve in water. In fact, they are hydrophobic. because they are nonpolar. Now this causes an issue for our body if we want to digest them because they don't dissolve it's hard to get them into our blood. So we need a way to make them more water friendly. So let's look at first the fact that they do not dissolve in water. Because they don't dissolve in water they like to form great big groups. So we're going to make the fat and oil color red. And if you imagine you had a bunch of fat molecules in water, what they do is they group up and form a big glob. The bigger the glob, the happier they are. So the guys in the outer circle of the glob, they're not very happy. They're hydrophobic, yet they're being forced to interact with the water. However, they're protecting all the fat molecules in the middle who are no longer in contact with water. So you can have all these little fat molecules in the middle who are protected and happy. And by happy, I mean, in a chemical sense, they're in a more stable environment. So all these guys in the middle are happy. I'm not going to draw all the eyes, but they're all happy. If you want an analogy, this is kind of like the penguins in the cold, how the ones on the outside are exposed to the coal, but they're protecting the ones on the inside and keeping them nice and warm. So these poor, unhappy fat molecules are being surrounded by polar water, who also isn't terribly happy because, hey, they want to play with the fats, and the fats don't want to play with them. They're all sad, too. So what we end up with, if we didn't have emulsifiers in our body, we would end up with these big globs of fat everywhere and a very hard time breaking down fats and turning them into something our body could use. Luckily, we do have emulsifiers. And what emulsifiers do is help to separate fat molecules so that they can mix with water. And the way emulsifiers can do this is because they have a very unique chemical structure. If we look at an emulsifier, it basically has what we call a head and a tail. And its head is a polar 
chemical group, meaning it has either a positive or negative charge. Whereas its tail is nonpolar, meaning it doesn't have a charge. So if you're polar or charged, we think back to what we learned about water, you are hydrophilic. You like to interact with water. Whereas if you're nonpolar, non-charged, you are hydrophobic, which means you do not like water. Now molecules that have one end that is polar and one end that is nonpolar all together are said to be bipolar. Okay, one end polar with some sort of charge, the other end nonpolar. In contrast, remember polar means you have a positive and a negative end. These don't have both sides. Okay. Now this bipolar nature emulsifiers allow them to interact with both water and fat. It's sort of like the mediator letting water and fats mix together. So if you think about it, if you had your nonpolar fat, whoops, sorry, I wanted to do that red. If you had your nonpolar fat it would interact with the nonpolar ends of the emulsifier. And then you'd have the polar ends of the polar heads of the emulsifier and they would happily interact with your polar water molecules And it would just depend on whether that polar head was positive or negative, whether the oxygen or hydrogen end of the water molecule would interact. So rather than being in a big glob of fats, you can break them down into smaller pieces of fat that will interact with the water. So. And in our body, fats are emulsified by a substance called bile. Basically, it's the detergent of the body. Which is produced by the liver. and stored by the gallbladder. And unfortunately, if either fails, you cannot digest fats properly. generally equals upset digestive system, in other words, diarrhea, if you eat too many fats.
we're going to just stop that there and then we'll pick up the rest in video part four. If you have any questions, come see me in class. Until then, I hope you have a good day.